Hello guys, the Lord put something in my heart tonight and I just want to read it to you guys. It's in James 3. It's um, the start of this. My brethren, let not many of you become teachers, knowing that we shall receive a stricter judgment. For we all stumble in many things. If anyone does not stumble in word, he is a perfect man, also able also to bridle the whole body. Indeed, we put bits in horses' mouths that they may obey us, and we turn their whole body. Look also at ships, although they are so large and are driven by fierce winds, they are turned by a very small water wherever the pilot desires. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. See how great a force of a little fire kindles. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. The tongue is also set among our members that it defiles the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature, and it's set on fire by hell. For every kind of beast and bird of reptile and creature of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind. But no man can tame the tongue. It is an unruly evil full of deadly poison. With it we bless our God and, and we bless our God and Father, and with it we curse men who have been made in the simil in the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not to be. Does a spring send forth fresh water and bitter from the same opening? Can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olives or grape wine, or grape wine um, bear, bear figs or grape vine bear figs? Does no spring yields both salt water and fresh water? The reason I read that to you guys is because, you know, in James, it just spoke about taming our tongue. I feel like the Holy Spirit wanted me to say something about that. When I first got saved early in my Christian walk with the Lord, I had a hard time taming my tongue. You know, as I become more mature and uh, drawing closer to the Lord, I'm able to tame my tongue. We have to tame our tongue, brethren. We cannot just talk any way we want. We cannot gossip. We're not supposed to gossip. And we're not, to talk, we're not supposed to talk bad behind somebody's back. You know, those, those, um, uh, those actions, they belong to our old self. In Colossians it says, we become a new person in Christ. We are a new creature. We are a new creature. And we are a new creation. So we cannot behave the same old ways that we used to. We have to be able to control the tongue, control the words that come out of my, our mouth. Because the words that come out of our mouth hurts people and it can bring people down. Our words are supposed to uplift people and then help them, not to bring them down and, 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 and hurt them, okay? So we're supposed to help people and bring them to the Lord. So we must learn how to control our tongue and we must pray to the Holy Spirit to help us. So the Lord wanted me to talk about that tonight. I felt, I remember one time when I was going to church when I was younger, and I felt like my dad and my stepmother was talking bad behind this pastor. And I felt like the Holy Spirit just brought that to my attention. And I felt really bad about it. Words hurt people. We have to be careful with the words that we say. You know, we have to talk about sin, but we have to do it with grace, and we have to do it with compassion. And I learned that from the Lord. And that's why every video that I put out, I'm going to be careful what I say. You know, I'm not going to, um, I'm going to be careful not to hurt people, but at the same time, I have to speak the truth. And, you know, because I want people to save more than anything, you know. So, my brethren, be careful, control our tongue, control the words that come out of our mouth. Do not gossip, do not get involved in, you know, in all that gossiping going on right now. You know, do not say things that's going to hurt other people. Do not be so judgmental, so critical. You know, we are the whole human race 
is is of uh, is a fallen race. Okay, we are deeply flawed. Okay, there was only one perf perfect person, and that was our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. None of us are good. None of us are perfect. We all have flaws. We all have issues and problems, and we all need a Savior. We all need to depend on Christ. He's the only one that's perfect. He's the only one that could help us. But we have to humble ourselves and show love and compassion to those who are not saved. You know, we, we need to we need to not so quick to condemn them for their behavior because they are struggling with sin and they are blind. The enemy blind them, so we have to pray for them. So the Lord could we uh, remove the veil from their eyes so they could be like us and and seek holiness. Okay, so it's very important subject. Remember, guys, control your tongue. The Holy Spirit can help you. The Lord can help you. And be careful, you know, because words hurt people. And we're not here to hurt people. We're here to help people. Thank you, guys.